So in the previous video, we derived the inverse matrix A minus 1. Okay, And what we recognised is that we have this 1 over the determinant of A here. Now, what you then should really be thinking about is, well, what if the determinant is 0? If the determinant is 0, then we are dividing by 0, and that's going to cause a problem. Okay, So we actually have a special name for matrices that have determinant 0. We refer to them as singular. So we would say A is a singular matrix if the determinant of A is 0. OK, um, so that is what we would refer to. So we talk about uh, singular and non-singular matrices, depending on whether they've got determinant 0 or not. The consequence, so the consequence of this is that if A is singular, then the inverse matrix does not exist. So, geometrically, you can kind of understand this as we, we understand that a matrix represents a transformation. Okay, so when we apply a matrix, uh, we've investigated how we've got rotations, reflections, um, enlargements, etc. And we recognise that the, the determinant is the area scale factor. So if, it's got, if the matrix A had a determinant of 2, then once it is applied to a shape, it would double the area of that shape once applied. If the determinant is 0, then we found that all of the points that are in the shape would be mapped, or on the shape, would be mapped to a straight line. Okay, So our shape would be squashed down into a straight line. The consequence of that is that it loses information, okay? And there's no way to kind of revert it back to its shape. There is no inverse matrix to get there. So that is what is geometrically going on. But you need to understand when we are using uh, the word singular, it is meant that the determinant is zero, and the consequence is that the inverse matrix does not exist.